All righty, let's get into our first kaiju preview here. And his name is Golza. And pretty much they all play the same. Um, it's a six, but you can still play a six. You can play any number. You just, if you're going to stack on the card, you got to make sure you have a seven version of Golza and an eight, something like that. If you want the three stack, it really depends. But right now, all we have is one Golza reveal. There could be a seven in the near future. But this Golza in particular says you can't stack on them yet, or you won't get this great effect when it comes to scenes. You may say one of your opponent's scenes was round three or higher. Now, scenes, a uh, prime example of that, actually, is this. The man who created Scar. This is what they're referring to. You see this counter right there? I'm going to zoom in there. That's the round. That's the scene where they want you. So if you see a third light, that's the card Golza could actually destroy. So sadly, this Blazar card, it still remains unstoppable. It's very dumb. And... You can reveal top five cards and pretty much put a stack a hero level up with ease. It's one of the more busted scenes. That might get nerfed one day. But anyways, so that's what Golza is really referring to. We are not really into this game so far yet. There's still lots to be dropped, reveals. And apparently we are going to get scenes that are three and higher. Which means the higher the scene and the round, the more, I would say, more effects start going off. Crazy effects. Because you already know once you get to round three. That Blazar's round two is already dumb. I can only imagine what a round three scene's gonna actually say for your characters. But Golza's probably gonna play an important role in destroying that. And he mostly will play that role if you're not the lead player. And the good thing about Ultraman um, training card game, you have to play a scene first, so you won't be really wasting your Golza. Because if you lose that match, you can play Golza. And if your opponent does a stack and your goals might actually win that one-on-one -on -one battle, which is a possibility, you might win it. But yeah, goals is just here to stop any crazy stuff later on in the game if you lose the lead. He's very good when it comes to opposite because you don't want your opponent to play like their good level three scene. So he kind of stays in your hand until you see your opponent play a scene. The only issue is your opponent could bait out the scene and then you lose the goals up. So you got to be uh, very careful when it comes to that. That's why Golza is actually a rare, uh, because it said a round three or higher scene. So you guys got to be wary of that. Will these scenes be guys to the point where like, people actually want to play the high scenes? Will they try to bait out Golza? Possibly. But right now, that's the beauty of Ultraman training card game. And I believe you got to actually, if we read here, you can set one scene, card face up. Oh, never mind. You'll know what they're playing. Never mind. You're not going to waste Golza. Big ruling here. Your opponent has to play face up. So that will actually decide if you want to Golza it. So that's good. So you don't... Another beauty thing about the Ultimate Card Game, you won't be wasting your Golza. Because <laughs> if you see that level 3 scene, you read it, you're like, yeah, I don't want that going off. Golza, blow it up, done. Now, if there's a 7 Golza and says you can destroy any scene... Where that's a stack, that's going to be pretty nutty. But anyways, so this is Golza. He will be destroying future scenes where we're actually might be getting a possibly a high rarity scene. We'll see. But he's going to be, I think, quite used depending how good these round three and up scenes are going to be in the Ultraman trading card game. So just be prepared for that. Be good. Stay safe. And until our next Ultraman card review, keep Staying tuned. <laughs> I lost words.